The spring-fed waters of Sun Creek are cold and clean, the perfect home for bull trout. Crater Lake biologist Dave Herring is tagging bull trout here in the park so he can track their movement downstream. A new fish, doesn't have a previous tag. We've been working in the National Park to restore Sun Creek bull trout for 25 years. I'm just gonna make a small incision. This stretch of creek where Dave is tagging fish is significant. It was here in 1989 that scientists found an isolated and distressingly small population of bull trout, the last remaining native fish in Crater Lake National Park. In fact, this fish is a direct descendant of those last surviving 150 bull trout. We can scan it through the bucket and we see its tag number, 36299211, catchy. Bull trout numbers crashed here because of competition with brook trout like these. Non-native brook trout were brought to Oregon from the East Coast and stocked in Sun Creek as early as 1912. Brook trout are kind of like weeds in my view. They spread out rapidly and will quickly recolonize streams after they've been removed if a physical barrier doesn't prevent them from doing so. Tonight on Oregon Field Guide, saving the bull trout of Sun Creek. When Oregon Field Guide last visited the bull trout of Crater Lake, the park was removing brook trout from Sun Creek and putting up barriers to keep them downstream. Park ecologist Mark Bucktenico was at the center of the work. If I do nothing else in my career besides saving this one unique population of fish, if we're successful in this project, I will be satisfied that when I retire that I've accomplished something. In the time Mark has been working on the project, the population of bull trout has grown from the original 150 in 1989 to 600 in 1999, and it's only continued to grow. And we have um, nearly 4,000 bull trout all the way down, in fact, in some of the irrigation ditches. But for the long-term recovery of the species, we really have to have a connection to the lower water shed again. Sun Creek starts high up on the southern flank of Mount Mazama, running down toward Oregon's Sun Pass State Forest through ranch land, where it should connect to the Wood River and the rest of the Klamath Basin. But more than a century ago, Sun Creek was diverted for irrigation. Sun Creek has been isolated from the Wood River for over 150 years by irrigation practices. And now the stream looks less like this and more like this. This is the terminal end of Sun Creek today. This is a ditch. Now Mark and a project team led by Trout Unlimited are focused on reconnecting Sun Creek and all the bull trout that live there with the rest of the basin. A local rancher sold part of his irrigation water to keep the stream flowing all year and granted permission for Sun Creek to be reestablished along its original path on his property and then fenced off. Sun Creek will be the first tributary entering the Wood River again after 150 years. It's a major engineering feat to get it done, one that'll require a lot of digging. Like I fished my whole life. I know what creeks look like with the current, trees, rocks, a little bit of everything. Local contractor Tommy Evans has been charged with digging nearly three miles of new channel through forest and pasture. I dug everybody a fishing hole. Like whoever was there that day, I dig them a fishing hole. All right, there you go. I got fishing holes. I let the crew dig their own fishing holes. We had fun with it. Growing up on a ranch like this one in the valley, Tommy knew and fished Sun Creek often. He says the fish were plentiful. It'll be like that again tell my kids that we're going to go fishing here one day. Back upstream about a mile, more than a century ago, Sun Creek was redirected to the irrigation ditches of the Wood River Valley. Now, after more than three years of work, things are about to change again. We're going to divert Sun Creek down the new channel. Tommy blocks off the old irrigation channel and then digs out the entrance to the new Sun Creek as Mark watches on, working outside of Crater Lake National Park in order to save the fish within. Pretty exciting. And then with the turn of a screw, 
the full flow of Sun Creek is directed down the new channel. Our bull trout have been restricted to the park for over 150 years. They're migratory fish. They want to migrate. And as the water of Sun Creek cuts and carves its way along its rediscovered course, it completes a promise made by Mark three decades back. There hasn't been a bull trout caught in the Wood River for over 100 years, but I think we could catch one any day. It's a promise that 150 nearly forgotten bull trout in Crater Lake National Park would survive, and their offspring would one day swim the same path of their ancestors. <laughs>